has to earn his paycheck. Like, I've been saying this since I'm a kid. It's like, I think he did in the past couple years. I think Man's he like, did. yo, Felix, you're making me work hard. I'm like, bro, that's your job, mate. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Shout out to Adrian. This guy's crazy. Yeah, I absolutely love legend. him. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of the Rise Experience Podcast. Today we got a very special episode for you today. We're filming in our hotel room as we stay in Langley, BC to compete at Elite Canada and we're here to talk about that today. Let's go. Let's go. Let's I'm go super excited. Hide, guys. It, what about it's you? It's going to be a great episode. Oh, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Back yeah. Yeah. You know, a little BC. little change of scenery for us. So, uh, you know, it's, <laughs> it's exciting. Um, I want you guys to tell me a little bit about the travel day here yesterday. How, how was that? The travel day was pretty smooth. I mean, it was a pretty early morning. We had to be at the airport at 5 for our flight at 7.10, which is always fun, I guess. Not little, too much sleep early. before the flight. And then the five-hour flight was pretty smooth. No disturbances, No tur not too much turbulence. And we got in at around 10, and then we got some food, headed straight to Van Phoenix, Phoenix, yeah. Phoenix Club to get a good workout in a few hours before we got to the hotel. So... It was pretty pretty straightforward. Yeah, yeah and didn't Felix know. didn't lose any luggage. Thank exactly. God. Exactly, I got all my luggage, so that was that was pretty convenient. That was nice. Um, one thing I want to notice, I mean, Sam really unwrapped it beautifully, but uh, Phoenix Gymnastics they, they have to put some some heat in the gym. It's a little cold. cold. It, yeah, it was cold. Yeah, it was definitely a, yeah, I'll, definitely I'll a little cold. I'll talk to John because um, <laughs> that was actually my first gym that I I grew up in. Yeah. So it's, it's always nice to like come back to BC. And check out the the gym because like my banner, my name is on the banners. Oh, uh, you feel right? like a hometown hero or something, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, he is. What do you mean he feels like? Yeah, but the trip <laughs> was fine. Um, I had a lot of luggage, not really, but I had I had that roadcaster and I had these mics in there. Is a bitch to carry. Felix over. didn't want to pay for uh, an expensive Uber, so we also had to walk to the train station while Kaji was carrying that. Yeah, so. we had a we had a journey. It's all about that journey. Keep in mind, he was carrying this in a duffel bag. It wasn't like a suitcase, so yeah. that's a lot of weight. It's okay. He he held it very it's securely, good. and uh, I, bag's you know. almost broken. But <laughs> I mean, listen, we had some really important, you know, stuff to carry over. Who else am I gonna give it to? This guy, yeah, exactly, of exactly. You know, he handles business like. Like nothing else. So. Exactly. We had all made it over here, no problems. And it's all going to make it back, no problems. So no no worries there. There you go. But uh, lo looking forward to the competition, uh, we just finished our podium up a couple hours ago, and uh, I think it went pretty well for all of us. What are our thoughts on, on the gym and the, the kind of equipment, and how did the training go? I'll let uh, Chris begin on this one. Um, equipment. Mm. Equipment's all right. There's some issues with the floor. I think everyone kind of noticed the waves. Little on it. speed bumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I hope they they will fix it for tomorrow. But I'm sure like the juniors are gonna go on it, and then it's gonna get fucked again. And yeah. then they, they can go. They, they can time. go fix it after. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hopefully. One of the juniors will definitely complain. They'll go fix it, and then it'll be fine for us. I'm not worried. All right. But yeah. I'm not doing flurry there, so I'm not worried. Well, all, <laughs> all the all the equipment's fine. Like I usually never complain about equipment, so like just just the floor. But that's for everyone. Yeah, I assume. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, for me, like the podium training, if we call, we yeah, can, it's podium can training. Call it that way. Uh, it doesn't doesn't really give me podium training vibes, but no. it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. But no, it, it was cool. Like Chris said, events were you know, Chris, pretty nice. Uh, nothing to say on that end. Uh, I wanted to take that training to really like dust off because I felt like I hadn't trained for like three days. Felt rusty. like you got a little. I bit was rust. like rusty. Yeah, yeah, I was like rusty. You I was didn't like look slow. it. You look good, man. But I mean, it, it, it looked look fine. Good, it look, oh, that's the man. That's the especially positivity. Felix. <laughs> but I, I mean, you know, it, it was smooth. It was fun to actually. It was fun to see like a bunch of faces and a bunch of people that I either did not know too much or that like it's been a while since they, since we've seen them compete or like on that national space yeah, because we only have two um, like yeah. major national events. It's always nice to see everybody, especially yeah. back in BC. Like I, I know a lot more people because. Mm -hmm. The volunteers sometimes, I know them. You know the gymnastics community here. Yeah. It's it's the community yeah. you grew up in, so that Correct. makes perfect sense. Right, right, right. But I mean, yeah, no. So on that end, for me, training was smooth, was nice. Now I'm looking forward for the, for the comp, you know? Yeah. I think it's going to be nice. And uh, actually, although, although one thing, one thing, yeah, the floor was messed up. But like, I don't know if you've seen, but there's like literally no space for any crowd. 
like no yeah. crowd. So there nothing. is no like, chairs. There are spots like for maybe no like a hundred people, and it's a oh. mag and wag comp. Yeah, forty. Yeah. <laughs> which is a hundred if they're sitting down yeah it's two set of bleachers right but Three? it almost yeah. it, it almost makes you wonder if they're not anticipating people to come watch this comp which I find kind of ludicrous is it not because the fact that this is a yeah ludicrous stupid yeah, yeah. stupid it's a word considering yeah. this is like an Olympic year okay so we're, we're coming off an Olympic birth that we haven't had we're marketing ourselves and the gymnastics Canada harder than ever and they're not even anticipating more than like what a hundred people to come watch a mag comp yeah, it doesn't make any sense to me it seems kind of backwards did they did they, did they promote it in any way have you seen any promo? Actually, you're not on. I wouldn't. I've no. seen like a couple posts from Jim Cannon and yeah, stuff like that. Bit. The usual, the usual. Yeah. But I mean, the reality is like, listen, if you want people to engage in gymnastics, you need to forward gymnastics first, right? And then if we're talking an ev- like an, an event such as Elite Canada, people to show up, buy a ticket or not. I don't even know if they're selling a ticket actually. But you know, to, to just show up at the event somehow and yep. to watch the gymnastics, to learn more, to discover the sport, and to see the athletes, you need to make room for people to come. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. even if you take into consideration all the athletes that will be competing, if we count like their parents, like mom and dad, or just mom or just yeah. dad, like yeah. one, one. Let's say even one, one supporter, one fan. That's that's it. So there's no like outside city crowd like Canadian that doesn't necessarily be like related directly to a yeah. members of the you know a guys that be competing. Yep. There's no room for that. No. So then it's tough to build. Like I mean, everybody does their best. I get that, and I totally understand. And we come from a far place back there. But I mean, you know, if we're like you said, looking forward to you know take part into the Olympics, make those big events, make those big you know projects and stuff, and we can't showcase much yeah since we have two opportunities on the national stage that's tough man that's tough so it doesn't yeah it doesn't give too much room for i mean it gives a lot of room for improvement but not not too much room for like actual results and see oh listen we're trying to grow the sport we're trying to grow what's surrounding it so that's definitely something we need to work on as a you know community or a a gym can uh, yeah surrounding coming coming back to the, the the podium training sam this is uh your first podium training and competition since your injury if i'm not yes, mistaken that's right tell, yeah. tell me a little bit about that oh uh, i mean obviously i'm just super excited to be back out there with you guys i mean like competing is obviously the best part about doing gymnastics anyway right yeah. like feeling the nerves putting on the uniform and showing doing, off all the work you put in showing off all the work you put in and potentially doing like a great routine in front of so many people it's like well so many people it. but we don't have a lot yeah. of stands yeah potentially so many people yeah 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 yeah. seriously but no and it's great to see a bunch of friends that i haven't seen in the past few months so yeah yeah no i'm excited for it feeling good and you're like how, how, how's the body holding up are you a little nervous going into this competition at all yeah a little bit nervous a few jitters starting podium training like pomo is maybe a little bit tense in my circles a bit but for the most part, the equipment feels great, so that definitely gave me a lot of confidence. Um, I noted, I heard rumors about the high bar anchorage being like ripped yeah, out of the floor. I, I heard the session before us, and so they had to kind of reconfigurate that. But uh, yeah. the high bar still feels yeah. One of the good, one so. of the boys from uh, Miss Saga Gymnastics, they were telling me that he was just about to go start warming up on high bar, and whatever one of the anchors came out, so he had to wait an hour to go warm up high bar because right. it was his last event. He had nothing else to do. So we had to right. wait and chill for an hour to, to go warm up his high bar because they were fixing it. Yeah. But you know what? I, they, they got it done in a timely manner, you know, for us. So yeah, no, I'm not too no delays for us. We were able to start at our yeah, like scheduled time through scheduling so. for this comp. I would say seems pretty pretty on point. Mm. Yeah, like it seems pretty good. And uh, I I checked over the schedule. And there's there's stuff to do. There's buffer time, so it like shouldn't run late, which is a common theme in. Canadian gymnastics yeah, competitions. Yeah, shouldn't, shouldn't run late, but we're we're what we're prepared for it. I think. Yeah. So. On a on another end, Jason, how was your podium training? Yo, my podium training was honestly the best I felt in a while. Okay. I was feeling light. Uh, all those strengths on rings uh, held, so that was good. good felt swingy. Felt strong. I had a good rings dismount, which never happens. Let's oh, go. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. yeah see, I'm like, see? oh, that's a pretty good. Never happens. Like his Based knees, his knees were facing happens. the same way as his face. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the r- rings aside, uh, pommel horse was really good. Um, this competition is a chance for me to try my new upgraded routine of mm. six six on pommel horse, which is the plan to compete tomorrow and six, both days. Six baby. But Damn. I put an arm up for the two judges that were watching pommels today, and I hit that routine. It was a little scrappy. Um, 
just based on you know the travel yeah. day rust whatever but i i got through it pretty well and i was pretty happy with the result i mean listen i i don't want to hear any excuses here so you just better show up better tomorrow. yeah but i better I'm show up better tomorrow <laughs> Because tomorrow's six, when it counts, like but a little scrappy. <laughs> Spread my legs like once. <laughs> yeah, that's like, good. That's good. That's good. But no, overall feeling good and uh, well, well prepared for tomorrow. And good. I'm really looking forward to competing because this will be my first competition uh, with all the Laval seniors together. So true. I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to us being together and just we have such a great environment in the gym, and I have no doubts that it'll translate over to competition, and we'll just be a big family on the comp floor. And Let's I'm looking go. forward to it. Absolutely, looking good. Alrighty, alrighty, time to switch things up. Tag team, Felix, you're in. <laughs> Alright, good. Thank you, Jason. Thank you a lot. So, new team on the couch. Love to see it. New boys, new faces. Listen, guys, really easy today. I want to know feelings, ideas, comments, and insult. <laughs> no insult. Uh, about <laughs> how was the podium training for you guys? How did you feel? First touch on the events, first look on the on the venue. Okay, all right, and uh, yeah, just the feeling of the area. We can start with with Matisse. How do you feel with right. that? Let's go. Come on, tell me everything. Honestly, everything's pretty good. Like the events feel good. I just I was disappointed about the floor, just a bit wobbly. And then I saw that the girls had a pretty good floor. So yeah. at this point, perfect. But the question is, uh, the question is, is, yeah, are you surprised? No, not really. Cause I'm not. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but okay, yeah. No, everything yeah. felt good. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. Good. All right. All right. All right, Xavier. Let's see I mean, Matisse pretty much covered it all. Mm. Everything was pretty good except for yeah. the floor. And then, yeah. you know, it was a little bit of a spectator issue there, uh -huh. we feel. But, um, yeah, it's just good to be out here. Yeah. Looking forward to tomorrow. And we go from there. Sounds good. But, hey, I saw you swing on a high bar pretty smooth. I just saw one turn that was uh, kind of went crazy. But, uh, oh, yeah. I mean, we might we might have some clips. We'll see. We might have some clips. Yeah, but, uh, I had a little bit of a, a mishap on high bar. Um, went for Kovac a little too much. Rotation, mm -hmm, I would say. Uh -huh, Pulled uh -huh. it. You know, new bar. Getting, yeah, trying to get yeah, the yeah. feeling of it. Smacked up, smacked up Matt pretty hard. That's so, cool. That's cool. You know? And, like, if we're talking, like, confidence-wise when it comes to, like, for you, like, first touching on, on, the, on the high bar mm -hmm. specifically, and you're like, okay, like, this happens... How does that? How does that make you feel before like Honestly, a comp? It's not like the this, first time something okay. like this has happened. Doesn't so. throw you off too no, much. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, you know, this is not, not our first time competing. Facts. So stuff like this, you have to be ready for it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's, it's what it is. It's a competition. Right. It's our job. Yeah. 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 Uh, for me, it was pretty good. Podium was kind of. Uh, I had a lot of energy, like seeing everyone just like training and like seeing people here and there. I saw Zach, Renee, and stuff like that. Like yeah. training with everyone felt so much energy during the training. So I did some really, really good stuff. I did some weird stuff. Like I saw some the, good stuff generally. Uh, looks generally look good. The, the good stuff was there, but like I dropped the chalk box on the floor. That's so not a good stuff. Yeah, that's that not, that everybody was, that was started tough. clapping in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> like, everyone clapped. Like, I was like, bravo, yeah, bravo. I was on P-Bar there you. was like a bunch of BC guys yeah. and I just stopped swinging. I was like, yo, those French <laughs> those French guys, I freaking hate them. Yeah. They all started laughing. That was a good one. So no, uh, floor was pretty good. The connection were good even though the floor is a little bit harder so mm -hmm. I was happy with what I did. Uh, vault, I did my handspring double front on, on my feet almost so I was confident with it. The first time I'm doing it since 2021 and think on the hard ground so it's been sure. good i thought it was about to say like 1962 uh, i was like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 1962. <laughs> no no and then uh i did some i i'm not competing p bars and high bar but i did train a little bit because i'm planning and, on I'm mm -hmm. competing at the uh, stuttgart and why so, is that i i did injure my wrist and my thumb in the past couple of weeks and i i'm almost ready to do a routine on those two it's just like i missed <laughs> I'm missing a little bit, maybe two weeks of training. Just two weeks, and I would be doing those routine. But I did a casino, catch it on high bar. I did some damn oh, other quarter. That's a new skill to me. For we me. have some video of that DM, yeah, actually. Yeah, we, we have do, a, do. a, it a good video of this one. It was a crispy so, one. Yeah, it was a good day. It was a good day. Happy about nice, it. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, like you said, I also really feel like, you know, having the chance to be in that gym with, like, a new some new faces, some guys that we know but haven't seen for quite a bit, it's pretty, you know, motivating. It's, it's pretty, also pretty nice. Makes for a nice environment. And uh, you kind to get to show off some of the some of the new skills you've been doing right my second question guys we haven't covered this with the other team okay i want to know what for you guys because it might be different for each and every one of you is uh how do you feel and what represents participating in elite canada for you like what what's the meaning behind it how do you see this let's call it so opportunity is for you so is it like oh, i'm just like warming up for the year or it's like no man i'm here to make a statement 
How's it for you, Matisse? Pretty much, it's, uh, for me, it's kind of important competition. I just wasn't able to uh, do much the past three weeks, so uh, just pretty much cold turkey everything. But uh, Yeah, I'm in the same yeah, boat. Same, same boat. Let's, Let's go. Sir. Let's cold turkey for the win, cold baby. Cold turkey, but... Uh, That's another level. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Mat yeah. Matisse yeah. is like, on some crazy cold. Honestly, excuse my language, but I didn't do shit. Like you know, actually, you, let me correct you. You're on some like some frozen turkey. Type. Frozen, oh, okay, like, yeah, pretty like, frozen. Like, like it's been the IGA so for like three weeks. <laughs> IGA frozen turkey. <laughs> but yeah, okay, uh, it's pretty much it. Okay, yeah. but do you see? Listen, do you see this as okay? So it's important it's competition. It's important. I, okay. I know the, and so, uh, what's the like, what's uh, the point for you? Like leading up to. What would mean for you to perform good? First of all, what what looks like a good performance for you? Like if you envision yourself saying, okay, that day was a great day of performance or those two days, what what does that look like? And then what does that mean, you know, having a good day for you? I think a good day, honestly, is just to, to show off what I can do at my best and like hit all my routines mm. and like just perform as a... Like not injured. <laughs> it's like it's Makes like, sense, makes sense. And show what I can really do. Yeah. And so you're talking about injuries, like, can, can you tell us, like, kind of what's what's happening with the body right now? Um, it's just my back. I injured my back, like, uh, three weeks ago at Houston. Old man. And, uh, yeah, old man. And I didn't oh, do... Uh, just 20. You were walking and that's it. I wasn't walking. <laughs> no, 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 no. I wasn't. No, no, he no, no, looked no. at you and was like, yo, I wasn't yeah. walking, bud. Yo, <laughs> I wasn't walking. I wasn't walking. able to walk. Yo. Okay. Shit. It happens. Good. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds Thanks, good. Matisse. So... Xavier, same thing. No, oh, as uh, Matisse said, this competition is uh, pretty important, as mm. is, is our selection for many international competitions this year. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I mean, obviously, I want to make a statement after coming off of my junior results, being a Canadian champion. So there's a little bit of pressure there, but I might have just got to put that behind me and just do my job. Makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. And so, if I ask a second question, the same as I did for Matisse, like for you, what? What looks like doing your job? What, what would that mean in terms of like if you can go like specifically like if I hit five events, if I hit six events, or if I hit like seventy something or eighty something? Like what's good job? My first goal is to hit all six. Okay. Both days, but if I go more on the technical side, mm -hmm. I want to make the national team standard seventy eight. Okay, okay, so okay. I came close as a junior. I got sure. like seventy seven eight. Okay, yeah. So just doable. Yeah, with yeah, with For senior sure rules, doable. two extra skills, I yeah. think it's pretty doable. Come on now. So yeah, we'll yeah, see how bit, this comes. Bit, bit, bit. I like that. I like that answer. Yeah, for me it's just mostly about sending the big mm -hmm. routine and stuff like that. So we might go a little bit safer on the on the on floor on first day, but it's a big change that I did from uh, Worlds in Santiago. All right. And then on second day, if everything goes well on first day, I might throw the, the big routine with all the lines that I'm supposed, that I want to do in with the 6-3 D-score. And then on rings, it's I'm back with my big routine from uh, Kitaki Ushu. So it's a 5-9 D-score. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry to cut you off. You're talking about big routine. I want, I want, what's the big routine on floor? What's the big routine on rings? What were we talking about? Okay, uh, Give so us some details here. First line, full twist to double pike forward. Okay. Then double twist, punch, double front forward. Mm. Double, double. Dive roll, cartwheel, dive roll to get the other diagonal. Two and a half forward. Then do the, press, the presses. Japan and the Mako, and then two and a half backward punch, half and triple twist. Damn, he really went wow. into details. I yeah. like that. Yeah, that's a lot of details. He called the cartwheel. Yeah, yeah. Car cartwheel <laughs> dive roll. It's like, like, yeah, the cartwheel. <laughs> Don't forget about that <laughs> one, bud. <laughs> and then on rings, I'm going uh, Azarian Maltese, then back upright Maltese, Nakama mm -hmm. cross, Iwansun Yamawaki, back upright cross, back upright planche, Giants, Giants, double double this one. And with, like, with these two routines, you're you're basically planning on you like using these almost exact routines to go on to like maybe yeah. Olympic finals, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's so, the plan. That's the plan. Maybe one tens here and there on rings. Mm -hmm. like I can challenge a little bit more Bigger. on rings than floor. Floor, it's really about the day on. I feel like on the Olympics to get in the final, it's either you got sticky feet or you or you, yeah, or you, or you don't. don't. Yeah, makes sense. So ring, like I got more a shot than floor. I, f I feel okay. So maybe one tens or two on rings, and that's it. And on vault, I'm just. My wrist has been hurting with the Kazamatsu two and a half, so I'm trying to do handspring double front, maybe for drag less cool to maybe two two volts in Paris. We'll see. So why not? Why not? That's good. Why not? Amazing guys. Anything yeah. you guys want to add? 
La let's not, last let, question. Let, okay, sorry, sorry, you were about to say. Just let let's rock it. Like it, it's the let's first, rock honestly, it. for sure. It's that's the what I was saying. Time that we're we're the biggest squad of seniors. Like we yeah. we're eight seniors, eight on the national team from the same club. Same club, like, baby. We're, we're representing we're seeing, here, yeah, baby. Let's go, domination. And we're seeing Adrian running everywhere. Like during podium, he was like going from yeah. each of them because yeah. we're not on the same. So we make him work a little listen, bit. Listen, listen, man has to earn his paycheck. Like I've been saying this since I'm a kid. It's like I think he did in the past couple years. I think man's he like, did. yo, Felix, you're making me work hard. I'm like, bro, that's your job, mate. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Shout out to Adrian. This guy's crazy. Yeah, I absolutely love legend. him. But uh, yeah. all right, thank you guys for being here, and uh, let's rock it. Let's rock it. Let's, let's go. go. Cheers. Woo!